thanks for stopping by. By request, I'm going to be making Swedish meatballs. This is such a rich, delicious dish. It's easy to do and so, so good. You know, thanks Todd for the request. I haven't had this in such a long time. I'm really looking forward to it. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. Now the first thing I want to do is take some breadcrumbs and just add some milk. Give that a stir. What this is going to do is add as a binder for our meatballs to keep the meatballs from falling apart once we form them into balls and start cooking them. Then in a hot skillet I'm going to add some butter. I want to melt this completely. And then I'm going to add one large minced or almost minced sweet Vidalia onion. Just give that a stir. This is going to take about five to six minutes to soften these onions. And to help that process, go ahead and give it a good pinch of salt. That'll help draw out the moisture in the onions and help them soften faster. And after the onions are done, I'm going to go ahead and add my spices. I'm using allspice and nutmeg. Guys, if you've never had these two spices, oh my God, they are absolutely amazing. And when you add them to the hot onions, that just draws out the flavor of those spices even better. And when your onions are done, go ahead and just take a spoon, spoon them out, put them in a bowl, and set them aside to cool. We don't want to add hot onions to our meat because that will tend to eh, sort of start cooking the meat, and I don't want that just yet. Now the type of meat I'm going to be using is a half a pound of ground chuck and a half a pound of ground pork. Go ahead and add your cooled onions to your meat. Then start adding your breadcrumbs milk mixture. Crack an egg and throw that in there also. That's going to also act as a binder. Give it some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, the real good stuff. A good pinch of salt and a good pinch of pepper. Then just get your hands down there and start mixing it up. Don't overwork your meat because when you overwork hamburger meat, it tends to come out tough once you cook it. Just get all those flavors and ingredients incorporated with each other before you make your balls. And after you make your balls, I've made them about an inch and a half, two inches each. Set them on a pan. And we're going to put this in a preheated 425 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Just throw your balls in an oven and listen to them sizzle. About halfway through your meatballs being cooked, I'm going to go ahead and start on the sauce. Now I'm using the same pan I cooked the onions in because I want all that good flavor from the onions and those two spices that I mixed in with there. Go ahead and give it some flour. We're going to make a roux. Now stir this around for three or four minutes. Once you don't see any more raw flour, you're good to go. this is what you're looking for with your roux that kind of light golden brown color when you get that color go ahead and start gradually adding your beef stock you can also use beef broth I just prefer using stock and stir that around adding your your stock a little at a time Now, don't worry about those clumps because we're gonna bring this to a boil and those clumps will go away once you start boiling it. when your meat is done go ahead and set that out we're gonna start adding this to our sauce. Just add your meatballs to your sauce, bring that to a simmer, go ahead and take some of that good sauce and cover your meatballs. Man, it smells amazing in here. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. I really appreciate this, Todd. Man, I'm looking so forward to this. And after about five, six minutes, go ahead and add some heavy cream. Now, I'm using heavy cream. Most recipes for Swedish meatballs, it calls for sour cream, but I don't like sour cream, so I'm going to use heavy cream. That's going to give us even more richness to this dish. Go ahead and give it some parsley for some color and a little bit of extra taste. And go ahead and throw some more Parmigiano Reggiano cheese in there. Cover those meatballs with that sauce, and there you go, guys. 
serve it up over some egg noodles you can even serve it up over mashed taters if you like i just prefer the egg noodles guys i tell you what give this a try it's so so delicious and if you like this video i'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button that way you can watch all my other videos but until next time guys thanks for stopping in i really do appreciate it i'll see you guys later bye bye y'all